Hi guys, my name is Han, and I'm a core developer of Litentree. Today, I would like to show you something about Litentree Node. Litentree Node is one of our key products, and it aims to build a chain that aggregates users' blockchain identities. Just for example, if you have uh, Ethereum accounts, Bitcoin accounts, and also some other blockchain accounts, you can link all these accounts to Litentree account. That means if you use our protocol, you can just link every accounts you have on blockchain and we will generate and calculate one credit based on all these linked accounts of yours. Just make an example to make it easier to understand. First, I will run the Litentree node instance here. It's a single node mode, just make it simple. And uh, also just want to say Litentree node is based on substrate. So we can just benefit from all this Polkadot, Polkadot tools like this Polkadot.js apps. You see here, I already um, connected the Polkadot.js apps to the local node here. And you see it's already connected it's already generating blocks from zero to five already. And first, let's check the chain state. From here, you can see there are two additional palettes that added by us. The first palette is called account linker module. This one is aiming to link accounts, like what I said just now, the Ethereum account or Bitcoin account. And the second, Second additional module is called off-chain worker module. This one is using off-chain worker of substrate to just fetch the balance that of all these linked accounts. Let's first use Alice, the account Alice as an example here to just check the account linker status first for Alice. Let's use Ethereum link here to see here the account linker module Ethereum link of Alice is empty because we haven't added any link to Alice yet. Okay, let's try to add some link to Alice. Here I have already one test Ethereum account here to use for adding this link Ethereum to Alice. And uh, the first blank is the index you want to add to Alice Litentry account. We have we support so far up to three Ethereum accounts per each Litentry account linking. That means here you can specify zero to two to link your Ethereum accounts. If you want to link the first Ethereum account, so we can just use zero here. And here we need to specify the address we wanted to link, of course, the Ethereum address. So I just paste the test Ethereum address here. And the third one is expiring block number. This is actually the expiring block number of the whole link. So you can just specify a number here. For example, I specify 10,000 to make it safer. So after the block of 10,000, this link should be expired. And the following are the RSV values of signature. And I will show you how the signature works. This is the message we need to compose first to make the signature to, and to, to, to make the later we can sign for the signature. And the first part is the classic Ethereum message prefix uh, from Ethereum signed message followed by the length of message. And this part is uh, Litentree message prefix is link Litentree. And this one should be the Litentree account here. If we want to link Ethereum account to Alice, we need to use the address of Alice of Litentree account. So in this case, it should be this account. And uh, followed 
by the expiring block number, we ex ex we just specify that as 10k, so it should be here 10,000. And uh, this is the first step to compose the message. And the second step should be encode the whole message with scale codec. This is actually the codec from Substrate. And the third step is to calculate the hash value of the whole message. And the fourth step is to sign the hash value using your Ethereum account, of course, your private key. So if you sign that to a, uh, sign the whole message to a signature, that means you own this, this uh, Ethereum account, you own this private key. By using that, we will recover from the signature to the, the real address of Ethereum to see if this address is exactly the same one, like the recovered one from this signature or not. If it is, that proves that uh, this uh, e Ethereum account is from Alice. If not, we will say that this one is not from Alice, then we will refuse this link. Okay, let's copy this one to here. This is R value and the S value here. Copy and paste here. And the V value. The V value is one byte. It's one C. And uh, here it requires a U int 8. So let's just convert one C to 28 in decimal. And uh, now we can submit the transaction sign and submit it's already in block <clears throat> let's just wait it until it's finalized and let's check the account link module of ethereum link from alice again yes now it is successfully linked because you see here this is the address of the linked ethereum address you can see here, it starts from 488. Let's verify this one. 488 ends from 0582. 0582 is exactly the same one that we linked. So we say this is successfully linked from Alice account to this Ethereum account. And let's check the second palette we added, the off-chain work module. If we check the account balance of Alice, you see it's zero. That means even though we linked this Ethereum account to Alice, we still don't have the balance of this one. We need to manually trigger off-chain worker to fetch the balance for Alice. And let's go back to ex extrinsic again, off-chain worker and asset claim if we submit transactions simply do so and it's waiting for the response of the node and it's done here let's go back to chain state and off-chain worker of um, account balance yes now you see the balance is here so currently we just fetched the balance from the source of Ethereum. And this is one way to interact with Litentry node. There's another way is to use Polkadot.js API. This is the official API provided by Parity uh, to use for um, interacting with substrate based node. And we already have some JavaScript application doing that. I just would like to run that again to show this possibility to interact with Node. Now I just would like to terminate this um, Litentry Node instance because we have, sorry, we have this one already integrated inside our integration test and uh, an additional Litentry Node instance will be invoked once the whole test is running. Let's run this one. And you see first uh, the web socket instance is waiting for the node to be ready. Once the node is ready, 
um, you see on the JavaScript side, we tries to send a link request uh, with this RSV value, which should be exactly the one we used just now. And you see the first step is successful. That means we are sending the request successfully. And from the second step, we check the, um, the, the linking status of Alice. You see here, this is the linked Ethereum account, which is also the same like what we checked just now of, of this ETH address here. So that means it links successfully as well. And from the step three, we call the claim access of off-chain worker for Alice. And this, the step four just shows that this one returns a non-zero value. And also this is also the expected value of the balance from Alice Ethereum account. And it's done and all four test cases are passing. So this is basically what we use the Polkadot.js API to test the whole liturgy node. And um, these two ways are basically for developers actually, because you see, if you want to interact with liturgy node, you have to know how to compose the message and how to uh, encode it, how to calculate the hash and also how to sign, even though you have your private key, it's very hard for most users to do that. So that's why we have also our mobile side app to interact with liturgy node using uh, with a user-friendly way is still under development and later it will be shown and that will be the uh, app for targeting for the for the most users okay so this is um, everything i want to show today thanks for watching bye